Mental Push of Monday, baby. We here. So check this out. Before we even dive into today's topic, I want to take a moment and just really celebrate my boy, Marcus Ray Alpha Sr. And I just want to celebrate you today on this wonderful day of Memorial Day. Um, Marcus is no longer here, but he was my boy. And he um, he put his life on the line to serve our country and to ensure that we have the freedoms that we have today. And so I just want to say to you today uh, to celebrate you and say thank you, Marcus. I love you, man. I know you're not here, but I got mad love for you. And I know you up, I know you up there probably making the people laugh with your jokes and stuff. So much love. So the title of today's message is Awareness is One of the Most Powerful Tools in the Universe. And this is an extension from my my Instagram post on Thursday. Because this, this was the big takeaway for me this week. Learning the power of awareness. So this was inspired from my therapy session. So I go into my, ther- my therapist's office and I say, listen, these are the things that I need to work on. This is, this is what I need support in. So I say, I need to get crystal clear on what I want. And then secondly, I need to be able to stand in it. Like I need to be able to stand in the truth of whatever that is. And um, yeah, so that's that's what I tell her. And so, you know, she, you know, she always has these questions, you know, she, she has these questions and that's what I love about her. She has these pointed questions, but they always guide me to just discovering this on my own. Like she never gives me any answers. Right. And so, so I come to the realization, you know what you want. You're unwilling to stand in the truth of that. Unwilling to. And so then there goes another layer. Oh, the other piece of that is uncomfortable emotions. It's, it's very challenging for me to just not be happy-go-lucky, right? Like, I love the fuzzy wuzzies. But the truth of the matter is, is that also other emotions, they're just as valid, right? And so, like, one of the, one of the emotions was anger. Like, I recognize that I try to avoid anger at all costs. And because of the avoidance of uncomfortable emotions, hence conflict and things like that, Emotionally, I shut down. Shut down because I'm not going to deal with that feeling. I'm just going to put that in the corner. We're not dealing with that. I don't want to deal with my feelings. And so to walk away from this session, even though it was very challenging, um, I felt so much stronger when I left it. And I felt clear, right? I felt like I had so much clarity. And it's, it's a lot of power and clarity. And so when I think about awareness, it's almost to me like vision. Right. So if like right now I need glasses, I do. And but once I get my glasses, I'm going to be able to see things a lot clearer, which means the thing that probably I'm going to be able to see this sign when I'm driving at night. But, you know, it it's, it, it provides clarity and it's, it's just so much power. And once we know then we can do something better. So the analogy I used on my Instagram page was sickness. Right. I use the analogies like sickness. So here's a prime example. I go hoop today. I go, you know, I get hit in the head. I go up for a rebound. Somebody elbows me in the head. And so my head is throbbing when I leave. Like I'm feeling a little woozy, a little dizzy, and I have this headache. And um, so I text one of my homegirls. She's a nurse. And I'm like, yo, like what's the symptoms of a concussion? Because I'm trying to make sure I'm tightening them right. And um, so she she sends me back the symptoms and she says, but I just want you to know I am not a doctor. So don't take this as facts. And so um, so she she sends me the symptoms. I'm like, mm, maybe. But so, but she also recommended she's like, hey, I, you probably want to go see a doctor because it do kind of sound like it that you could possibly have one. And so. So I, I'm, I'm hard headed, so I didn't go, but I probably will go in the next few days or something. But, um, but the thing is, I, right now, I'm just kind of guesstimating. It could be a concussion. It could just be, hey, I just have a headache because I haven't eaten a lot today. I don't know what it is. But when I go to the doctor and the doctor gives me the diagnosis, be like, oh, that was possibly a concussion. Or, you know, maybe it's, maybe it was just, just a headache. Who knows? But once I know the diagnosis... 
then I can I can start figuring out what is the plan of attack and how am I going to heal this thing? What am I going to do? That's awareness. That is awareness in a nutshell. This session, I just, I learned so much, so much. And so the first thing was just getting really honest with yourself without judgment and with compassion. So for me to name and own, take responsibility and own that one of the habits or one of the things that I do is just avoid my feelings that are uncomfortable, that was challenging, you know, and to say that sometimes I'm I'm challenged at standing in my truth in my close relationships because I'm afraid of rejection. Ooh, that's deep. Like, you know, and if I judge myself, I won't say it because, you know, you feel some, I, I felt some shame and just a little guilt about like, this is like, this is how I feel sometimes. But just to, just with compassion, just say, oh, this is, I'm just going to name it and call a thing a thing. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just what it is. So another key takeaway, and I think these two kind of go together, hope and healing. And so I say hope because, you know, I felt like for a while I was kind of shooting in the dark. I didn't know what's going on. You know, you just engaging in certain pat- patterns. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep on doing it. Ah, whatever. But um, once I became aware of what it was, why I'm doing what I'm doing and what it, what is it that I'm really doing? It gave me a sense of hope and confidence because I knew now that I know what it is, I can start designing a plan and start really working on it, taking action to improve in these areas. And um, I just, I, I, it was like, I know it's going to get better. That's, that's really what it came down to. I was like, I know this is going to get better now because I know what it is and I can start working on it. So the, I'm taking steps to correct it. Um, and so I, I'd like to think, think of it like this a little bit. So I think about when, when I played basketball and I used to be in a slump. I used to be in a slump say, like, oh, what's going on? Why am I missing all these shots? And so maybe I remember one time I discovered that the reason I was missing shots was because my elbow was like my elbow was out or something like I wasn't following all the way through something like that. But I made this little tweak. And once I knew what it was, I still missed shots for a few games, but I was working on it. I was in a gym. I was going working on it. And then eventually it subsided. Eventually, I started making shots again. And so I think that's 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 analogous to me to, like, hope. You know, once I know what it is, I'm going to start working on it. I know what it is. It's going to get better eventually. Let's wrap this up in a nice little bow. Awareness is one of the most powerful tools in the universe. Similar to if you're sick. If you're sick, your nose is running. You say, well, do I have a cold? Do I have a flu? Do I have allergies? I don't know what it is. But the fact of the matter is, once you identify what it is, then you can start to heal it. Because you're able to you're able to name it. You're able to own it. Oh, I, I'm, I got allergies because I was out in the sun too long. I was out in the heat. Whatever it is, you, you're able to own it. You're able to name it. And then most of all, it provides hope and healing for you, right? Because now that you know what it is, you can start designing a plan to fix it, to work on it, to improve, to heal yourself and move forward. So those are my tidbits, words of wisdom. Get out there this week. Do your mental push-ups, baby. Much love, light. But it's the Dorky Jock signing off, baby. And I'm out. Find table space to say it.